Welcome to another beautiful Monday morning. Today's day is 25th January 2021 and I'm pleased to welcome you to our English writing class today. How are you doing? I hope yesterday wasn't that difficult during the work at home and all that, especially the homework and all that. Please do bear with us. <laughs> okay, we are quickly going to look at the value of our month which is loyalty. All about January is the month of loyalty. And I hope you still remember the meaning that is being staying truthful to a friend with or without them being present. Okay, with that being said, we move to the next slide to another topic for discussion today. We'll be looking at writing focus. So that is all we're going to do today, writing focus, but we'll be concentrating on writing a description. So, we are going to learn how to write description writing. Today is going to be a lot of writing, so please, you need to join us. And we'll be working from our language book, page 69, and practice book, page 53. Now, this is where your homework will be coming from, practice book, page 52. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to identify and describe some same person and object. Then the second one says to improve students' writing skills. So what we are basically going to do today is to teach you how to write in details, describing place or describing person or describing object in details. And you're going to detail that writing by writing neatly. You write nicely, neatly and the line. Okay. This is a little introduction to all about descriptive writing. We we'll say the primary purpose of descriptive writing is to describe a person, like we said in our objective, to learn you be able to identify how to describe a person, a place, or an object. Okay. So writing is to describe a person place or thing in such a way that a picture is formed in the reader's mind, capturing an event through descriptive writing, involving paying close attention to the details by using all of your five senses. Okay? All of your five senses. And if you use a sense of sight, hearing, smell, taste, everything you can take, think of, touch, you have to put everything so that the person reading this will actually picture him or herself as clean or as though they were in the scene where the event took place or where the event is happening. Okay? So that is all about descriptive. The purpose, that is the aim, the reason why we are going to write descriptive. This descriptive means Tell about something. The way the next person hearing it will like, wow, this is well said, well told. The storyteller told the story excellently well. Okay? So let's begin moving. These are some of the key words we'll be saying today, or we will be coming across today. We'll have top, balcony, bottom, color, and tower. Now, class writing. We'll have to do a little writing here before we move into the main writing. <laughs> okay. Now, this is class writing. They say, come on the tower. Where is the tower? Can you see the tower here? Yes, this is the tower. What they say, color the tower. So you need to color this tower. Okay? Color is any color of your choice. Here we have the TV tower in Toy Town. Let's write about this town. So all we are going to describe now is about this town. Now, I want you to listen attentively to see how they are going to ask what they're going to ask and how we're going to put down the answers. Then you see that it's coming out in detail. Here, they say write the answers. Number one, what is the tower's name? So, what do you think is the tower's name? I would have write a sentence here. I would have, you know, I like us to write and building our own sentences. 
but we don't have much um, any line for guidance, so we'll just be putting down the answers. But in case you want to put down the sentences, please feel free and do so. What is the tower called? TV tower. Where is it? In Toy Town. What color is it? White. What's at the bottom? Sure. Okay, I think it's just one shop, right? How can you get to the top? By lift. What is at the top of the tower? So if you look at here, you will see where they wrote restaurant. So you write restaurant. Then how can you see, okay, what can you see from the top? There is a whole lot you can see from the top. If you're sitting at a restaurant, you can see, you can see cars, people, and Lots of trees. I don't know if you can see from down below, but it says, What can you see from the top? So I wrote, You can see cars, people, and lots of trees. There are other things you can see here. So that's what we say in our objective, or sorry, in a little explanation of what descriptive writing is. We said you use your sensory perception. Everything about the sex organ, you use it in descriptive writing. I hope this is a little bit clear for us. Okay, so we'll quickly move to the next. This, we are doing it in the classroom too. Here, Aunt Meg and Friendly gets in the lift. So this will be number eight, number one. They are going to the top of the tower. Which is number two. They are standing on the balcony. Three. And then Freddy drops his hat. Four. Now they say, finish the story. Freddy drops his hat. What happened when he dropped his hat? Now he begins to think. He starts to imagine some things. What happened when he dropped his hat? This is going to take a lot of time. So, I already did the writing before now, okay? So, I want you to pay close attention to the writing and write accordingly. Please remember to write neatly, nicely, and on the line. Now, this is the descriptive writing of the Freddy's heart that fell off. Freddy's dro Freddy drops his heart. So what happened after he dropped his hat? Polly sees Freddy's hat. She flies quickly down to the hat and she catches it. She flies to the balcony. Aunt Meg and Freddy are standing at the balcony. So Polly quickly flies back to the balcony. And what happened? She gives the hat to Freddy. He is very pleased. Freddy and Aunt Meg say thank you to Polly. Aunt Meg and Fred Freddy go down in the lift very fast. So this is what you are expected to do in your practice people's book. So please, try as much as you can to write as I have written. And while you write, try to give yourself into it so you learn a lot while you write. This is your homework. It is on our people's book, page 52. You are going to fill in these blanks.
with the word in the box. So choose the correct one and fill in the blanks. Okay. Thank you for being wonderful. Thank you for listening. Thank you for writing neatly. Thank you for writing nicely. Thank you for writing on the line. I'll see you tomorrow in our next class. Bye.